horn. Yeah. And the beeping is like when you're approaching the ball. Cleared to detach, we're going to climb to 5500 and begin our slow flight. Two, detaching. Okay, so from 50, or about 5500 feet, just start pulling the power back and we'll do some slow flight. We're already at 80, so it's like perfect. Pull the power back, more, more, more. Alright. You go, you can do some mental maneuvering. A little different. We you know we're at a high angle of attack because we started leveling up. There's the first couple of beeps, right? But today we're not, we're going to ignore that. Uh, okay. So that, that's the first couple of beeps saying, hey, we're approaching a stall, but it's not stalling. Look at the angle of attack, so the, our attitude, but because we're in level flight, that's also our angle of attack today. Okay. Right? Gotcha. So we're at 60, oh, and it's not stalling. It. Huh? I said we're ignoring the beep. Right. So it's not stalling right now. We're just flying slow, and it's close. My airplane for a second. Okay. But, your but airplane? Keep, but you keep your hands on the controls. Okay. So now if I keep slowing down and pulling back, you feel that buffet? Yeah. We're still not totally stalled. It's just the inboard part stalling, and that's the buff now that stalls. Yeah, wing dropped. Uh, and now I'm yes. keeping the elevator back, and I'm keeping the wings level using my feet. And if I want to stop it, I just of attack and it stops. Okay. All right, your airplane. Uh, Here's airplane another demo. It. Here's that. So that was at 65, that, 70. Oh, that's him. Never yeah. mind. Sorry. That's at 65, 70. Okay. So here is the uh, accelerated stall. So I'm going to speed up to about 75. This, I'm just a demo just to show you that this doesn't really matter. I'll follow but, along. So here's 80. Okay. Now, so we're going 20 miles an hour faster than we were stalling before, but if I roll into a steep bank and I pull, I get the same buffet. It just stalled, okay. and I stalled at 80. Okay. And that could happen in a base to final. So if I was turning and I went pulled, it stalls. Yikes. So this thing, it tells you when it stalls. It, you can feel the air separate off the wing. You can feel it hit the back. All you got to do to recover is relax the back pressure. Relax. Or you know, increase the angle of a pitch. All right? Okay. Let's demonstrate that we can stall at any speed. Now I can do that aiming gotcha. straight down, too. We can do that inverted like this, and I can be stalling the airplane. So it doesn't matter the attitude. It just matters the angle of attack, how in relation to the flight path and how and the, where the wing is. And where the wing is. Okay. All right? Got it. Your airplane. Airplane. I just right. want you to do a full stall where it breaks and then recover with the power off. This is just me a normal stall. Okay, so do you want, is the power good where it's at? Nope, so you got the airplane? I got the, the airplane. nose where it's at, pull the power off. Yep, and just keep the nose where it's at. And wait for it to totally break, keep your feet on the rudders. Pull it all the way back, there you go, and then just recover. And now push the power in, and recover from this dive. So you don't have to dive down so much. My airplane for a second. Yep, your airplane. Woo! So when we, so when you recover, all you have to do, to pull it back for a second. Okay. All you have to do is, after it slows, when it stalls, as it stalls, reduce the angle of attack, put the power in. I didn't have to go way nose low. Oh, okay. I just got to reduce it from just what it was. It. It's still beeping because I'm close to stalling, but I'm not stalling. Okay. You don't have to go way nose down. Okay. All right. Got it. I'm gonna turn it one more time, and I'm gonna, how are you feeling? Um, I'm okay, but I'm nervous, so. Okay, there's not being uh, we're really <laughs> high, and you got Super Dave up front, so. All right. Okay. So, we're, I'm not, we're not going to do anything weird yet. So you can okay. feel this airplane wants to break one way or the other. Yes, yeah. Right? I mean, it, it, it will spin. Or, and a Cessna is not usually like that. A Cessna might break a little bit. This thing will go one way or the other. So this time, we're going to go into that stall in which you have your feet on the rudder, and I, wanna keep, I want you to keep holding the stick back. So we're not going to recover from the stall right away, and I want you to try to keep the nose straight with the rudder and keeping the airlines neutralized. Okay. Are you following along on yep. the rudders? Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, go ahead and pull the power back. Power back. Go. Keep it stalled. 
So pull back. There you go. Now a little left rudder. A little right rudder. And dance. There you go. Now what happens if you put a bunch of arrow on it? And it's not quite stalled there anymore. Keep pulling back. Pull back. There you go. Now the arrow line's not doing anything really. It's just the rudder. See how the arrow line's not doing anything even though you're trying? Yeah. Okay, now recover. Goes down a little bit. Power. Just recover from the dive. Back a little bit. As soon as you stop hearing the beeping and it's not buffeting like that, it's not stalling anymore. Gotcha. That's it. Let's climb back up again, make a 180 degree turn. You okay? Yeah. It's not a big deal. No. Okay, now we're gonna now we're gonna not keep the rudder centered and we're gonna let it spin. Okay. This next one's gonna be a spin. So like in the first half a degree of turn. You want me to demonstrate one first? Yeah. Okay. My airplane. So we're gonna enter this. So to spin, remember we got a stall, so it's the exact same thing we just did. Okay. But instead of trying to keep the nose straight, I'm gonna purposely put full elevator or rudder in to the left and it's gonna spin to the left. Okay. I have my feet off the rudders, by the way. Okay. So here we go. Here we go. One spin one turn spin to the left. And to recover, I gotta reduce the angle of attack. Power's already gonna be out. Neutralize the controls and then just recover from the dive. Okay. There you go. Full rudder, and it started to spin. Now I just, if I neutralize, it stops, but we're nose down. Traffic. And then we just recover from this dive. I don't want to do that. Not a big deal. <laughs> and now we're back nose up, power in. And that was just the, that was the beginning part of the spin. Oh, that's not even a full spin. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's the beginning, and that's the part where I'm saying, so if that happened, you would obviously know something bad's happening. But you're, so that yeah. was, that, that's where the airplane's not fully spinning, but it, it's, it's entering the spin. Okay. <laughs> so when I recovered, I just let go of the back pressure, and it stopped stalling, but then you can see that we're in a pretty steep dive, and you got to pull out of that. Yeah. Things level, and that's why you don't want that to happen low to the ground you might not have enough room. Okay. <laughs> you ready? No. <laughs> I'll follow you along. <laughs> I know you can. <laughs> okay, here comes another one. All right, is it my airplane? Your airplane. Okay. So I got the nose up just to fly slow. Wings level. I don't know. I don't know. My heart's still racing here. <laughs> okay, take a deep breath. I'll follow through with you. Remember the big thing. Power off, which is already going to be in this case. Okay. Just neutralize the controls. You don't have to push. It's ready to get me. And just neutralize the controls. As soon as you stop, it stops rotating, just smooth recovery and pull back up. Okay, your airplane. Okay. Beat on the rudders. Pull the power off. Here we go. Power off. Pull back, pull back, pull left rudder, recover. Neutralize, that's it, that's fine. That's it. You don't have to pull by power, no power. No power, no power, sorry. Yeah. And then we just pull back, and that's it. Now you put the power in once you get back to a normal ah, okay. attitude. You put power in when we go straight down. <laughs> You're gonna go straight down yeah, to the ground. Yep, you got the power, put it back in. So don't put the power in until we're back at a normal attitude, because okay. as soon as we're nose down, we're picking up tons of speed. We want to pull that, okay. And, gotcha. and if you're not fully recovered, you can keep the spin, and so power off is the main thing. Okay. Once it's nose down, and then we just recover from that dive, it's no big deal. Okay. You did it, that was all you. Yeah. As soon as you neutralize, everything stops rotating, but you gotta know to neutralize, you can't panic. That's why we're doing this. To get yeah, you I know, I panicked a little bit, but that's okay. All right. <laughs> We're gonna, do, we're gonna do one more. Go to that. Go ahead that way towards the clouds so we're not in the sun. Now take a deep breath, relax. Okay. That's not as bad the second time, was it? No, when I had to do it myself, when you made me. No. Terrible person. Okay, I'm gonna relax my feet a little bit here too, so yeah. I'm not on the rudders. And do you see how much rudder I had to put in? It actually started to break to the right, and yeah. I put a ton of left rudder in trying to out because I wanted it to go left. But it was going to spin to the right on its own. That. All right. Okay. So what are we doing this time? Same thing. I just want you to recover without putting that power. Recover from that dive. Okay. And I'm not going to put my. Yeah. Okay. Get up on the rudders. 
Alright, here we go, one more time. Am I on the other one? Yep. Yep. Okay. Power off. Once it breaks, pull the stick all the way back. Right here, all the way back. Left rudder. Recover. Neutralize. That's fine. Nope. Don't push. Just oh, sorry. And then start pulling out of the dive. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Now we have the power in. Normal climb. You did that all on your own. Oh, okay. So your, your tendency was to push. It was. So you got to neutralize. You're already aiming straight down. Just neutralize the controls. Uh, okay. I have, no problem. I'm taking my feet off the rudders really quick. I got the rudders. Okay, awesome. Why don't you go ahead and turn around this cloud. You ready? All right, I'm going to go off the controls. Okay. Just kinda, you follow through. Uh, yeah, um, I would rather not. So I'm heading this direction. My goal is to keep heading this direction when we cover, so that would be a one turn in. Okay. All right, here we go. There's one turn. Now we're spinning. Ah. Power okay. forward. I break it. I'm in that same attitude we were before. And we just recover from the dive. And now the power comes back in. Okay. So you see, it, it, once it starts spinning, the stick, you actually have to push the neutral. It just won't fall that way. Okay. And then it's, but the recovery part is the exact same. Straight at the ground, we pull out. Okay, and I did not follow along. I'm just saying. I but couldn't. I didn't want to accidentally grab. So that was a turn and a half. Like we're going the opposite direction. We, but did, I, we are, But yeah. I purposely wanted to keep it in a little bit longer because in one turn, it wasn't fully developed yet. Yep. But once we were fully developed, you kind of felt what it was doing, right? I felt what it was doing, yeah. All right. Okay. And it's going to feel weird because the controls are going to be stuck back. And this is where you got to push them forward to where neutral is. Gotcha.